It is very concerning how many negative cat incidents that are happening at the moment. From the cat in the blender video to multiple other preposterous videos that are circulating around the interwebs. It has taken a turn for the worst. Many teenagers are addicted to social media clicks, views, likes, and above all, clout. What you are about to witness is a group of low-life, sad, scummy teenagers going to family homes, stealing cats, and as far as I'd say, kidnapping them. Another pet is targeted at night. <laughs> the ginger cat fights back. <laughs> But the frightened feline is manhandled into the boot. No, you're gonna squish it, you're gonna squish it. Ew, it's so ugly. No, no, you gotta squish it. Encouraging her scab of a friend to abuse this beautiful feline. In broad daylight. Come on, kitty, kitty. A cat burglar goes to work. Wearing red gloves and no shoes, the teen creeps up on his target. At first, he pats it, then tries to pick it up. The cat bolts for the bushes, but is caught. Go, go, go. And thrown into a waiting car. The animal looks terrified. The second video, we saw another scab or the same one stealing a cat from another home and just throwing it into the car. Meanwhile, the group of buddies are just laughing because towards animals is just so hilarious, isn't it, kids? These teenagers posted these heinous videos over on Instagram, Snapchat, and even TikTok, where sane-minded people reported these videos to the authorities, as well as not laughing at this appalling behavior. One of the people who had her cat stolen from her house came forward on TikTok to say the following. Please, TikTok, please do your thing and help us find our cat. Our precious Garfield has been stolen from our Brisbane home and is now nowhere to be found. You can see fear in his eyes. Please help us find our cat and expose these sick gronks who think it's funny to steal a cat. And gronks, I agree they are. Now, I thought that when I clicked on their page that there was going to be somewhat of a good update. However, the cat has still not been found. Danielle, I am so, so sorry that this has happened to you. You, and I really hope Garfield comes home safe soon because this is just so insidious. These kids must not know about Bowdy moving or how the internet works because as soon as I caught wind of this story, I knew I had to say something about it. It's scary because if you cannot even show basic empathy towards animals, they will not be able to show it to humans. Use starts with animals and then leads to people. It's pathetic how people will facilitate this behavior all in the name of being cool because I can tell that is exactly what is happening here. I was in high school once too. And back when I was in school, people were also doing messed up shit as well, all in the name of being cool. But let me just tell you right now, trying hard to be cool in front of people who think that being cool is hurting animals is going to be the end for you because it's going to hit you how really cool doing this kind of stuff is once you're locked away from society and nobody wants to have anything to do with you. Not even these pathetic scumbags because they are causing this kind of chaos to fuel their own twisted souls. I don't care that... <laughs> They're just kids and this stuff happens. First of all, no, it doesn't. It doesn't just happen. A newborn baby knows better than to not abuse animals, let alone take them away from somebody's house and do God knows what to them. This is like the exact reason why I never want Susie. I'm just watching her right there. I am taking a quick video for you guys because she's just licking herself. It's the exact reason why I'm so nervous for when Susie grows up and she may want to go outside because there are some really sick and evil people out there. This abuse especially against cats, has got to stop. It is happening so much at the moment and I have no idea why. And only get a slap on the wrist from the justice system. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. I don't care that they're teenagers. They f 
know better. Now, with that being said, everybody, if you are somebody who has more information on these incidents that we spoke about in today's video, please email me at dramaqueensubmissions at gmail.com. I thank you so much for your time today, and I hope that you and your feline friends are safe. Take care of yourselves, and most of all, love your fucking selves.